Hi, I'm Nikki from Gracie's House and I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. Today we're going to be working on this little cabinet. It's got some beautiful details on the front, so we're going to add some details to the side. We're going to be using the clear crackle texture paste from the Finnevere range and I'm using the Giovanni Flourish stencil, which is a retired stencil, but I love it. So we have our stencil now taped to our piece of furniture. This is actually a 3D stencil, so it does have a little bit more thickness than some of the other stencils available, but these pastes will work with any stencils available from Redesign with Prima. The crackle paste is quite a smooth paste. You won't see any texture coming until it starts to dry. So we're just gonna take my trusty two inch silicon brush. I'm gonna hold down in some places in the middle and we're just gonna apply it through the stencil. Now this particular product, because we want the crackles, the more generous you are, the bigger your crackles will be and the more depth they have. If you just want very, very subtle ones, then use less product. And we just need to fill in all those details. If there's any details you want to miss, then you can obviously tape those off. So there's um, the name Redesign with Prima here that I've taped off so that I don't get any product in there by mistake. But you can tape off any details on stencils that you want to remove or hide. So I'm just, once I've got my texture paste, the crackle paste, in all of those recesses, I'm just gonna take that brush, scrape that brush across and remove any excess product that we don't need. But I also want there to be, so there's a couple of little dips there, I just wanna refill those. So I want to make sure that I get a really good crackle. Well, there we go, that's better. So maybe if you have your brush at just a, a more of an angle when you're removing the extra product. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be completely perfect because we're looking for texture anyway. And I'm just gonna remove the stencil while it's still wet. I'm just gonna be very careful lifting that tape up. And I'm gonna do lift each bit of tape up before so that I don't smudge or smear my product. So there we go. So it doesn't look particularly special. And don't forget, this product is the clear paste. So this will dry clear, but it will dry crackled. So we're gonna come back in a little while when this is all dry. So I'm just gonna add some black chiffon glaze from Paint Couture. So a glaze is designed to have good open time, so you've got lots of working time. I'm really just pushing it down into those crackles. So we're just gonna enhance them even more and just take a little bit of the shine off of that finish. gonna make sure that I've got my products down in. Any glaze will work for this. You don't have to glaze, but this, uh, the crackle can be used over decoupage, it can be used over transfers. So it really works nicely with a lot and redesign with Prima range. I'm just gonna use a baby, baby wipe or you can use tissue or whatever rag you have in your workshop. And I'm just gonna wipe that back. As I said, I don't really want to be changing the colour of my paint. I just wanted to highlight the stencil and the crackles. And I will get a dry cloth to then get those bits dry. Thank you. 
So I'm just making sure that everything's dry where we've glazed. And it just enhances those crackles and just gives it a bit more of an aged appearance and knocks back the shine on the, on the, the gloss finish on the crackle product. So I've been working on this really cute little cabinet today. I'd previously added the Patina Flourish decoupage paper from Redesign with Prima on the inside of the cabinet doors and that ended up tying in really, really nicely with today's project. We used the Giovanna Flourish stencil, which is retired, but I used it with the clear crackle texture paste. So once that crackle had dried and the crackles had appeared, we then added a glaze to really pop those details and just knock back the gloss finish that we had. So there we go.